Hi everybody and welcome to another episode with the Anxious Resistance. My name is Burke. I'm a registered nurse and I have a Bachelor's of Science in Nursing. I'm the founder of the Anxious Resistance and I'm here to spread as much positive information about mental health as I can. Today I'm going to have a candid conversation with you guys about something that I've been using for a while now. I discovered this doing some research for a pathophysiology class that I took during my undergraduate degree. And this is about how magnesium helps reduce anxiety and how it works very similarly to some things that we know work well for anxiety and depression such as ketamine. So it blocks the NMDA receptor and it does this very naturally and it does this in a way that doesn't produce side effects like ketamine does and helps alleviate and modulate the transmission of neurotrans. Basically it helps regulate them. There's some evidence out there that it increases GABA levels which helps relieve anxiety. It's one of the primary inhibitory neurotransmitters in the brain. And magnesium is something that a lot of people are actually deficient in. And this is something that I learned during that research. Magnesium is often filtered out of our water. You don't get it in bottled water. You don't get it in softened water like you're supposed to. Magnesium does not absorb super well in the gut. It actually, there's a lot of research out there that says it absorbs best transdermally, which means through the skin. Now, magnesium supplementation is something that I found years ago that has helped me greatly with my anxiety. And there are a couple products that I use that help me get anxiety best. Now, I found that it doesn't work that well orally. I don't know if many of you have heard of like Mylanta or Milk of Magnesia. These are both medications given to increase bowel motility. Essentially, it helps with constipation, it helps with gas, it helps get things flowing because magnesium does not absorb very well in the gut. And so it led me to think, okay, well, how are we supposed to get it? Magnesium is a fairly essential electrolyte inside the body. It helps regulate a lot of different things, particularly neurological processes, neurotransmitters, and those kind of things like I've mentioned. So how do we get it? I thought, well, maybe we get it in the water we bathe in, which there's some evidence that bathing in magnesium rich water is helpful. And so one way that you can do that is actually through an Epsom salt bath. This is something that's really common. A lot of people do this. A lot of people find these relaxing. Epsom salt is a form of magnesium and it can be absorbed through the skin transdermally while you're bathing in it. So I have an example here just of something that I've used. This is just kind of some basic Epsom salt that you can get. I got this at Walgreens. But you dump a good chunk of this in your bath. I actually tend to buy the one that's eucalyptus scented because I love eucalyptus and it smells great and it's relaxing. So it has magnesium. It's 9.87% magnesium inside of this and it has 12.98% of sulfur. So this is actually magnesium sulfate and there are some different forms of magnesium here. I'll show you the back here. Let you get a good look at the front. Helps relax muscles. A lot of people take it for that. There's good evidence for that. So essentially I dump like a good amount of this stuff in a bath and I it's relaxing and honestly I notice a big difference sometimes. Sometimes I notice that I just start getting kind of some palpitations because my anxiety levels are a little bit high. This often happens in the winter when I'm having seasonal affective disorder and that kind of thing. And so I take an Epsom salt bath and I often feel better afterward because I think this is a great way to replenish your body's magnesium levels. Magnesium also is sometimes something hard to detect. Most of your magnesium is stored within the body cells. It's not in the blood. It's not in blood plasma, which is often where it's tested. They do, you know, your electrolyte uh, comprehensive metabolic panel and they test your magnesium levels. It's often not reflective of truly how 
efficient your body or how how much magnesium your body is storing. So again, this is something that your body can easily, you can't really overdose on magnesium unless you just like take absorbent amount because you, your kidneys just filter this out, it's water soluble. So that is one good way to do it, is an episode that's all bath. And I think magnesium has actually gained more attention since I first discovered it in the psychiatric world. Another thing that I use that I actually really love because this keeps it a little bit simpler, I shower, I don't really take baths very often. And so I don't have a ton of opportunity to use Epsom salt. So what I use is, is a lotion that has magnesium in it. So I buy this off Amazon, pretty good stuff. Mo Maggi Magnesium Lotion. They say they source this from minerals sourced from pure and pristine ancient underground seabed in the Netherlands. Okay, I don't know about all that, but I know it works because I've been using it for a while. But when I use this, it's often not quite as uh, quick acting, I would say, as the Epsom salt. I'd say I have to use this for like a week or something. And what I do is I normally will just squeeze a decent amount of this out. I'll rub it on my legs before I go to bed. When you first use this, you might notice kind of tingly, pinchy sensations. It is very minerally, so your body might not quite like it right at first. But after a few days of using it, at least in my experience, that went away. And I didn't have any issues with it. The only issue I've had with it is that, you know, if I get in bed right after and I haven't rubbed it in very well, I might get some on my sheets. But this is very good stuff. This is magnesium chloride that is in this. Um, it also has some other things that are beneficial as well as part of the lotion but i find this stuff extremely helpful and very convenient just rub it on before you go to bed that's it uh, i did notice the first time i started using this it took a couple weeks before i noticed too much of a difference i don't know if that was because my magnesium levels were as deficient as they were at the time but again very effective I love magnesium. I think it's a great natural way to treat anxiety. And it's not just something I'm saying. This is something I've experienced. If you guys have any questions about how magnesium works, I have done a video in the past. Don't judge it too harshly. It's one of my first videos. And I explain kind of a little bit about the chemical process of how magnesium interacts in the body and helps regulate those neurotransmitters, particularly how it interacts with the NMDA receptor, which is similar to uh, ketamine, dextromethorphan. They interact with this receptor and they're gaining a lot of attention for their potential use in treating anxiety and depression as well. Again, just a side note, the pharmaceutical industry is probably not gonna give a lot of attention to magnesium because there's no money in it. They don't make any money from magnesium supplements they can't patent it honestly it's a mineral electrolyte I mean that's obviously been used since the beginning of man they can't uh, they can't patent that and so there's not a lot of research in it for them but there is a lot of subjective research out there there is a lot of personal experiences and anecdotes to how this is effective and helps people again I love it I think it's great it's natural Stuff's a little bit expensive. Epsom salt is pretty cheap. I mean, you can get that online. I'll drop some links below for some of the products that I like to use. And you can check those out if you want. Help support the channel and use our affiliate link. Just, we get a little kickback. The price is the same for you. Uh, but it helps fund some of the stuff that we do here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please tell me about your experience with magnesium if you've used it before and tell me if it works for you or if it doesn't. Uh, again, it's a cheap thing to try. Have some salts or dirt cheap and see if it helps. And thank you guys so much for watching this. Thank you for supporting our channel. Keep helping us spread mental health information. Subscribe if you don't already. Give us a like if you enjoyed this content. And thank you guys so much for watching.